Hi everybody and welcome to Stamping Fun with Donna. I'm Donna and today we're going to be using one of the hearts from the Many Hearts dies. I love these dies. So uh, it being February, I'm making lots of hearts and uh, giving them to the, a lot of people to show how special they are to me. So the Many Hearts dies are in the 2021 January to June mini catalog. If you don't have this catalog, you need it. It's full of great things and you don't want to miss this one for sure. So if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you're in the United States, please feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to send you one. These dies are found on page 15 and it's easy to miss because they're here at the bottom, but they have 15 dies and they cost $36. So they're really a great deal and every one of these dies are different. So for instance, uh, this one cuts out an outside outline heart and an inside heart. This one cuts out a heart with flowers inside. This one here cuts out um, a heart that has stitching on it. And the one we're going to be using today is this one here at the end. So this one cuts out both a strip of hearts from the cardstock and the individual hearts. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So what I did here is I took a piece of real red and I placed uh, the, the die right along the edge and it cut out this, these shapes, the hearts, along in the red. And then what I did is I did use the same die to cut out on white paper and then I was able to add the white uh, hearts over here. So you get this beautiful, beautiful um, card from it and I'll show you this is what the die looks like so you get the insides that you can use on one project and the outs and the negative of it at the same time so um, if you like this video I'd really appreciate a thumbs up it really helps me a lot you can reach me at uh, stamping www.stampingfunwithdonna.com that's where you'll see the blog post I'll link it below it's also where I have my specials and where you can contact me uh, or you can go shop directly with me at www.donnabiederman.stampingup.net. So let's head over to the stamping table and we'll go ahead and get started. Is going to be using this die. Now this die is interesting because you can use it both um, on the outside and on the inside. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So what I did is I took this die and I ran it through um, on top of white paper. And I have all these cut out hearts. So I'm going to place those aside for just a second. And of course this die is from the Many Hearts die, which is in the mini catalog uh, for January to June, 2021. Now I'm going to, I took a regular piece of cardstock and I cut it in half and scored it down the middle so that we can then just fold it and use the bone folder. Now, again, the, the bone folder is not necessary, but it makes a difference in the crease of the card. And what we're going to do here is to, I cut a piece of real red and the real red is cut to a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's cut to five and a quarter by four. And what I'm going to do with this real red is to grab the big boss, the stamp and cut and emboss machine, and uh, run this piece, this die from the many hearts down the side like this. And what I'm going to do here is to grab my plates. So I have the one, the two, and the three here, because this is what you need for cutting. And let me get the little pieces off from my previous project which had pretty peacock. Okay, and then I'm going to place it down the side and I'm going to put number three on top and I'm gonna run it through. And then I'll show you what I was talking about, about how it does both the inside and the outside at the same time. So I'm gonna place the big boss down and I'll show you what I mean. If I take this off, which it's kind of being sticky, it's a little staticky. You get all these red hearts, but you also get the red heart. Oh, there's more pretty peacock. Uh, let me grab those off of there. 
get those out of there. Okay, but you also have the red hearts cutouts on the piece of paper. So what I did is that earlier I ran a white piece through this and I got all these white pieces, some of which it was a scrap and I had stamped on the other side. So some of them have a little bit of, of color on, on them as well, but only on one side. So now we have all these white pieces, all these red hearts. The red hearts I'm going to save for another project because I don't want to put the red hearts on the red paper. But what I'm going to do is to place these hearts here and glue them all down like this uh, in different places. I love this one, so I'm probably going to put it in the middle and then make sure that I've got some solid ones and some uh, outline ones and... There are, seem to be more outlines than solid ones, um, but then there are these little ones as well. So what I'm going to do is just place these all over this piece of paper so you can use them. You can use both the insides and the outsides. Uh, and again, I'm just going to, I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap. Here we go. I have a scrap from where I previously cut a heart uh, and just, whoopsie, that was a little bit much. So I'll just rub it off there and then I'll place it. Let's place this one here. And uh, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this one and use what I have here because I always like to use everything up. This one got a little bit uh, squishy. Okay, put this one here and then take this one. And you can do this with the, with um, the fine tip glue pen. That might be an easier way to do it. You can also do it by putting the glue on your silicone mat and then just uh, dotting it like that and then just dotting the hearts themselves in the, on the silicone mat and place this one here. And I don't think I got quite enough. That one really wants to play. I don't think I got quite enough glue, so let me put just a little bit more glue. And my hands are a little bit sticky now, which means that um, the hearts keep trying to come off on my hands. There we go. Okay, that one's beautiful. Let me just dot that. That's how my hands get sticky. I really should use um, a napkin to dot it if I'm gonna dot it off so that my hands don't get quite as sticky. But that's how they get sticky. I use them, and then everything wants to stick to my hands. Yeah, I should have gotten my silicone mat because I would have done this, and then I would have just done this uh, to get a little bit of glue on the edges so it's not too much, and you can always dot it off. And the reason you wanna use the silicone mat for that is that nothing sticks to the silicone mat so that it, you just rub it off with your fingers when it dries and you don't have to worry about it at all. Let's put a white one here. And you can do this however you want, right? I mean, there's nothing special. Oh, I did say I wanted to do that one towards the middle. I'll do this one next. Um, there's nothing special about any placement anywhere. You're just placing them wherever you want, wherever you think they look good. So let me get that one down there. Great. Okay, and now I'm going to take this and again just because I had used this uh, previously this this paper that I cut it out with I had stamped on the back of it so some of them have little markings so I'm just making sure I get them the right way but you can do this however way you want um, let me get this one here and there we go and just a couple more so let's do this like so I think this one could use a little bit more glue let me put a little bit more glue right there okay and now pick that up like so and place it in this corner and then the very last one we just need a little bit more glue and place that right here now this card is um oh i did find one more and you know what you could do some of these like you could do them like this and just sort of layer them. They came out like that. So you could do that if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave that one off because I've covered this pretty well. Actually, should I put this here? Sure, I'll put that there. Let me grab back my scrap, put a little glue on. 
and pick it up with the edges and place it right there. Okay, and so like I said, all I did with this is I ran it before we got together, I ran it through in white. You didn't need to watch me run it through in both white and red, it's exactly the same. And then I ran the red down the side. And so now I have the white and I have the red and it's all uh, beautiful. And it makes this beautiful, this beautiful uh, piece that I'm going to place on here using, tell me what I'm gonna use. <laughs> I'm gonna, well, I was gonna use the um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Maybe I won't, because I am gonna put a sentiment on, and I'm going to definitely pop that up with the Stampin' Dimensionals. So let's go ahead and just put it into the corners. Make sure you get it everywhere. And the white is going to show through on the side where the hearts are popped out. And the red is going to have the white heart. So it looks like this. So it's a really pretty card for somebody that you love. Um, so now we have the white, that the extra white, and I'm going to stamp, um, let me see which sentiment I wanted to do. Um, I appreciate all the little things you do. That's the sentiment I wanted to use. So let me go ahead and ink this up with uh, the basic black and I'm going to place it here. I hope this is the one I had planned, but I think it is. And I will find out in just a second because I want to use this, which is one of the dies from the stitched rectangle. And yep, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and just cut that out with the stitched rectangle die that is the most square, uh, I guess is the best way to describe it. And I have my big boss again. Let me put it here. And I'm going to take my plates. So I have one, two, and three here. Place it like this. Now, when you do something that's a little bit more square, you wanna put it a little bit at an angle. You don't have to, but it's easier for the machine if it's not straight on. Uh, people call it like a speed, let me cut this down just a little bit so it doesn't get caught. Um, it like speed bumps and it makes a little bit of a noise if you uh, if you put it on straight and it's a little bit harder on the machine. So it's better if you can do it a little bit at an angle and then put the other number three on and run it through just like this. Gorgeous. Okay, now let me put the machine down and I will show you that how it comes out. It comes out with this little stitching all around, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's, like I said, from the stitched rectangles. I use the stitched rectangle dies all the time because they're such a good way to cut out sentiments. They're so easy and they're so pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some Stampin' Dimensionals, like so. Now, if you're watching, uh, whether it's a replay or a live, don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, or hearts. Um, it's really helpful to me and I would love to know that you were here. Also, if you leave a comment, I'm going to choose a comment. Um, today is February 14th, so I will choose a comment by next Saturday, February 12th, 2021. And whoever I randomly choose, it's just gonna be random, is going to receive the cards that I made today. So make sure you do that. And then we'll just place this like so. Gorgeous. And then I wanted to use some of these gilded gems. These gilded gems uh, come from the Forever Greenery Suite in the main catalog, the annual catalog for 2020 to 2021 of Stampin' Up. And they're just these beautiful, beautiful gems. So let me go ahead and grab the putty end of my Take Your Pick tool. And where do we want to place them? And I think we want the little ones for this. So let me go ahead and put one here. I tend to like these on the sentiment, but I am probably going to place a couple around as well, just because it's pretty. They're pretty. They add a little bit more uh, to the card. So let's go ahead and just place them randomly wherever we think could use a little bit. How many is that? One, two, three, four. I'm sure you've heard me and other people say it's always better to use odd numbers. So there's five. So there we go. That's the card there. Uh, and I think they're, it's beautiful. I 
hope that you like it too and that you have somebody you want to give this to. So that's it for today. I hope you had a lot of fun and you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. And you can subscribe to my channel, which will let you know when I have new content that I have uploaded. You can also ring the bell uh, for the notifications if you want to get those notifications. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out and to have the opportunity to earn your business. Again, you can go to stamping www.stampingfunwithdonna.com or you can shop directly with me at www.donnabiederman.stampingup.net. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If you need a catalog, please feel free to reach out. Thank you so much for uh, spending some time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!